schedule. This is actually one of my, I don't know, favorite parts. I don't know, it's weird because I like the colors down here, but we'll get to that in a minute. So under schedule, remember this is under settings, you can sync your calendar. You can sync it to your iCal or Google Calendar. I've done that before. I unsynced it because it's just there's too much going on in Jobber and it was muddying up my Google Calendar and I didn't like that. Okay. So then we come down here to your availability, come to your company settings. We're going to look at all this information right here. It's eight to five. Yep. We operate eight to five. We're closed on Sundays. We're closed on Saturdays. If that's different for you, change it here. You're going to want to put your tax name and then your tax ID number. Remember we talked about earlier that you need to be a real business entity and here in the States you'll have a tax ID number, which that's called like your FIN, your FIN, your federal identification number or EIN, which is your employee identification number. I believe both of those are interchangeable. Here is where you're going to want to put your tax rate. In Michigan, we do not need to collect tax or sales tax on services but if your state has to do not forget to do that because you will get yourself in a financial pickle and you don't want that because you do have to pay uh, your sales tax and then once you create it in here this is where it's going to auto populate on every invoice for you so you don't have to worry about it okay you're going to come here put your region update all of this information make sure all of that looks good everything looks good we're good it's taking us for a loop Okay, right down here is calendar colors. This is one of my favorite. So when a title says aggressive dog is going to turn their little ping on the map red. For every other week, it'll turn it gray. And then for final cleaning, it's gonna turn it black. You can set this up how you want it. You can go to assign to or item title contains. So say if you wanna do, let's say initial cleaning. Initial cleaning, you're gonna want that to be a light green color. Save that. And then that'll show up. Let's say every other week. I don't like every other week to be gray like that. I think I might have had it as blue. But you can do whatever you want. With these greens, I kind of like to have them for like the spring clean. So like the initial clean, a standard clean, and then a spring clean. A spring clean is gonna be darker uh just because so let's go to let's do that let's do spring clean we're going to change that to dark green and hit save plug and play your colors the issue is is these colors don't show on the app which is weird i really wish jobber would fix that and then your day sheet options, what do you want it to show? You want it to show customer information, notes. Yep, I don't want it to show the map. Update settings. And your day sheets can be sent out via email or printed off, and that's just going to have your entire route in order. Say if Jobber goes down or there's some issues, then your technicians can manually type that into their navigation and manually send the customer text message if for whatever reason Jobber goes down.